Hello, seventh graders. Um, since our last activity we did for literature with the context clue seemed to confuse some of you, I'm going to do a short video of me doing the example here, and hopefully that'll help this one be less confusing. Um, so this is our figurative language activity that's going to be posted soon here on Google Classroom as soon as I'm going to make this video. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see this a little larger. All right, so figurative language, I have some examples on here on the title slide, and then if you look down here in the notes section. So this is the notes section of a PowerPoint or Google slide. So whenever I say that, I'm talking about. So if you look here, let's see, right here it says quick add speaker notes. If there's nothing in there. So that's the notes section. I have the directions here. Um, for the rest of the slides, two through eight, um, copy and paste the red words from the slide notes in place of the blanks in the definitions. Then write your own example. Okay, so I'm going to do number or slide number two as an example, which you can tell if you look at the tabs here. I did them out of order, right? So I'm going to do the onomatopoeia because it's the easiest one, right? So you guys can see how to do it, but I'm not I'm only giving you the easy one that I think you guys would have gotten anyway. <laughs> All right, so but you can see this onomatopoeia wasn't supposed to be until the second to last one, but I put them out of order. So it doesn't matter too much. Don't sweat it. Okay, so. Definition here, onomatopoeia is a blank of natural blank in word form. All right, so I'm going to use these words in this box down here as my word bank. And then I can go ahead and do, highlight it, do control X, which is cut. So it copies it and it deletes it. And then I'm going to click on the blank and control V for paste. All right, so onomatopoeia is the representation of natural control X. Control V, that space there of natural sounds in word form. All right, so there's my definition. They gave us some examples here tick tock, wee woo, bam. Um, and then down here, write an example. Um, let's see. Oh, the leaky. It. Drip. 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 <laughs> Very great, right? So drip is supposed to represent the sound that water makes when it something or when it drips, right? Um, so drip is an onomatopoeia, and that is my example. I'm gonna say don't use mine, use another one that's not mine or one of these on this page. You can probably come up with one on your own, but feel free to Google and then make up your own sentence with the automatic that you find. All right, so that is how that works. I guess I'll show you this right now. Okay, so this is where we're gonna go away. Um, we did onomatopoeia, then there's metaphor, personification, simile, idioms, alliteration, and then the last slide is um, something that we did not do when we did our figurative language notes in class. So I'm making it a bonus um, so you don't have to do it, but you can get extra points if you want to do it. So it has proverbs and then adages, which are similar things, which is better on the same slide, and you only have to do one example. All right, that is our figurative language assignment. Hopefully that helps. So there's less confusion.